This video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball's app makes it easy to keep up to date with transfer news, scores and stats all in the one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. The app is free. To watch more of this video, get over and join us on Patreon. Klopp said, I don't read mainstream media. I don't listen to Sky. I listen to you. I mm. watch you because you're a fan. So you'll tell me exactly what's going yeah, on. Yeah, Whereas yeah. a journalist or Sky will tell me what the narrative mm, is. Mm. And that's, a, that's what Liverpool are. Part Everton, Everton are... I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Unless you're going to say we're gorgeous, I don't want to hear it. Mm. And it's still like that now. And that's my criticism of the yeah. club. It's getting better. Yeah. And marginally and, and fractionally, it's getting better. But even, even just using those two examples... Yeah, Chris last week before the Champions League final, Liverpool and took him to Melbourne, sat him down with Oxley Chamberlain and Jordan Henderson. Clock, the example come in. Hello, my mate. Yeah, but the example is that's part of of, of getting um, intimate in the nicest way mm. with your fan base, mm. making it um, ooh, a people's club. Yeah, where yeah. Where, where the gap between the multiple millionaires who play football, there used to be lads who used to have jumpers for goalposts, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually can engage with lads who do still have jumpers, jumpers for goalposts, for goalposts yeah. and, and, and dream of just talking to you, never mind doing what you do and walking out of Goodison Park and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, but imagine going back a couple of years and Klopp's the manager of that lot, as he is, with, with, with his natural style and charisma mm. and all that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. But the chief exec is Robert Elston. Yeah, wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened, mm. you know. So, so you've got to create the environment that allows, you know. I mean, I, t I think I, t I don't know. But actually, I've seen you since we had the sponsors' day at Finch Farm. I've seen you, and it's maybe. So you know, I sponsored a couple of players. Yeah, yeah. So I had Dominic at DCL. Yeah. And and uh, John Joe Kenny. No, well, it's oh, Mason Holgate Mason. first, but yeah, then yeah, Mason yeah. went off on on loan to West Brom. So I got John Joe Kenny. Yeah, yeah. So that allows me to take. Me and Mercers would normally go. We had one player with two players. You can take th four of you. Oh, so I took okay. my nephew, my great nephew, yeah. right? And Joshua's whatever he is, eight or something, or seven or eight, something. Yeah. Like. Living the dream. Yeah. yeah. Um, the last time I took him, it I had Ty Browning and John Stones, right? So four. Yeah. But he's a bit older now, so now he can work the room. Yeah, yeah. All the players seem to love it. Mm. Genuinely, yeah, you know, they were enjoying, yeah. engaging. And the same with the Everton Community Gala dinner. You know, they're all putting little bubbles, but. They, they enjoy like it when, yeah. It. Yeah, yeah. If it's safe, you know, you're not getting someone abusing you. Yeah, now, Silver's a dour bugger, isn't he? I've, I've got no issue with him, but right. I, you'll see him more than me. He wasn't. wasn't. He loved it. Yeah. I've got some great photographs of me and yeah. him, yeah. And I've got great photographs of him with Joshua and with Joshua's dad, mm -hmm. Lee, and all that sort of stuff. And, and the point was, was, he right? was he, yeah, yeah, he didn't want to go. And I mean, the top of that tree was Martinez, who just did it overnight, yeah, didn't he? Fantastic. You know, but the point being, that's a really closed environment in the sense that there's only like, whatever, 15 or 20 players who were sponsored, not even that many last season, mm. I don't think. So maybe 30 people in the room. So it's really safe. Yeah, yeah. But you can't put on enjoying it. No, you know. No. Well, I'll tell you, and there are players. The Who's that? Cumin. Uh He was last year, but it was. Yeah. He's a good know. example of. Yeah. A good example, in fact, he wasn't, he never, because he got rid of him before it was um, Sam last year. But um, he's a good example of it. He would do it because he had to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, Allardyce he's, was great, by the way, when he did it. Well, well, I believe, listen, I, I want him at my football yeah, club yeah. and all that, but I know a couple of people who know him. As a person, he's, way, a, he's as all right. a fella, he's great. Yeah, I, I, want I would him. agree. I haven't met him. I, I wouldn't agree. want him. Um, you club. go back to, to, to Peter Moore. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I was yeah. at a presentation he did to the IOD. Yeah, you have remember you say. Yeah, yeah, in St. James in Liverpool. Mm. And he described, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was formulaic in the sense that he's, he's obviously got, you know, a standard presentation yeah. he's doing. It's very similar, actually, to the one that Everton do for Bramley Moor. I know we talk about how we're going to generate income for the city, Liverpool city region and all that. So I think it's actually a reaction to the Bramley Moor thing. Uh, and they that know it, yeah. that they were encroaching on, on their space, if you will. Yeah. Um, well, you know they are by what Tom Werner said. The yeah, thing about they're not daft. Yeah. No fan. Why would you support Everton? Not exactly, them. that sort of stuff. But he described, um, and he's right, I think, sorry, but I do think he's right. Um, perhaps not world football, which is what he said, but in a big chunk of it, mm. he just described Klopp as the most charismatic manager in world football. So anyone listening or watching, rather, because this mm. is 
visual, isn't it? Mm. Don't have to believe that. It's just after in your own head, and you can do it now. Who do I think is more charismatic? Pat. More media friendly. Yeah. It's borderline, though, isn't it? It is borderline. I think what I find my issue with Klopp is. So you have to exploit all your assets. As I've, the point. I've got to say, yeah. right, taking me taking me Everton glasses off, right. When he was Dortmund manager, I thought he was incredible. Yeah. He played the Champions League final against Bayern Munich, and I watched the build up, and there was an interview with him about how he changed Dortmund. Mm. He was incredible. I was like, oh my God, I'd love Everton to have this fella. Mm. When he went there, I had to play him down a bit and go, <laughs> not bad. He's, he's doing this, beating this. And I don't like the. He plays to the camera. Yeah, of course I, he I does. I don't like that. Media they friendly. love it. They yeah. love it. And what I mean is on the pitch. I don't oh, mind in the, the press conference. Oh, he likes to. But. One thing I will say is... he got is, me right, correct side, yeah. Yeah, and all of that. But he's a, he's a, he's like all of them. He's great when it's going well for him. Yeah. When he, he doesn't like, like the Rooney penalty at Anfield mm. under Sam, he was a little, he was a knobhead. Everton had gone and done a great number on him and he didn't like it. Mm. He didn't like it because, you know, you you happy watching that football and all of that. Isn't nonsense. that how winners behave? <sighs> I, don't, I think you've got, there's I plenty of people watching this who think well let's let us be a bit a nasty occasionally yeah no but you can be nasty right you can be nasty but there's a way to do it i oh, think there's a ta- you can't you can't come across like boom when we win boom but when we get beat be like use your shit you, you didn't deserve that you're a cheat i just think that and it, his mask has slipped a little bit a couple of times it's like Vettel after the last grand prix so maybe it's a german thing possibly and Do, you, know you what? distract detract people from yeah. the failings of your team when they which lose, Mourinho do great when does they, great when they lose yeah he scurries down that fucking tunnel like a little rat 